So these are some of James's orders from his eBay store. And we'll put the link to his eBay store in the video description. I asked him if he wanted to share some of his sales, and he said he's on a roll. He's just going to keep packing the orders. So he's, uh, you know, working on his eBay. And then I have my sales from the weekend I wanted to share with you guys. All right, guys. Janet here. And I have some cool things to share with you. Um... Let's start with the small stuff first, and we'll work our way up to the really cool items that sold this weekend on eBay. This is the weekend of April 25th, 2021. So here is a Barbie dress from the 1990s. It is marked Barbie. It has the little Barbie tag. This sold, I believe, for $10.80 with shipping included. And this weighs nothing. It's so easy to ship. I've got some gold-filled and gold-plated jewelry here. This sold for, I believe, $25. And I don't remember if I had the shipping included or if uh, they paid for shipping. But some neat gold-plated and gold-filled pieces with some little gemstones. I think that purple one is amethyst. So someone will like those for maybe uh, crafting or if they just want to wear it for themselves. Here's a Barbie skirt. That went for $9 with shipping included, and this is also from the 90s. Petty cash. <laughs> this is a little mini uh, change holder to put your coins in. It's from the 1950s, maybe early 1960s. It's really cute. I like finding little compacts and little containers like this. Um, they do sell. This one went for $12 shipped. Super cute. All right, Pitfall. This was in that video I shared, uh, I want to say a week and a half ago. A fan sent us some things. So Pitfall sold for $10, and that's going to go uh, first class shipping. So $10, a cool old Atari game. All right, this one is Scott Living. Scott Living. This is a, an ornament. And it's a wooden snowflake ornament with like this metal piece on the side. It has like a rustic kind of farmhouse look to it. And this went for $13 with shipping included. This was from the Savers uh, thrift store where I purchased baggies filled to the brim of little ornaments with the tags. So that's cool. I'm selling Christmas stuff in April. Uh, Dark Souls mug. Dark Souls mug. I think this one went for $15. And that was from Loot Crate originally, and a viewer sent that to us. So thank you so much, and it did sell. Some earrings. These are clown earrings from the 80s or 90s. This was from a jewelry lot that I purchased a few months ago. These little guys went for $11 shipped. Not much to them, but they are kind of cool. So there's that. Here's a cat. I sold a cat. Mioni by Aurora is the tag. Hi, Jack. Do you want to be in a video? Say hi, Jack. He was uh, rubbing up against me. He wanted me to pet him. All right, so this cat went for 15 plus shipping. It's just a cute little Siamese plush kitty, new with the tag. Here's another plushie. Sally from Nightmare, or not Nightmare, the Nightmare Before Christmas. I almost said Nightmare on Elm Street. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, she went for $15 plus shipping. I originally purchased her last fall at a Walgreens and was able to double my money on her. All right. Now, this is super, super cool. Um, <laughs> this took me, this is pretty much like a 20-year flip. So, this came out almost 20 years. So, this came out in, I think, 2002. Super Mario Sunshine is the uh, video game that it's from. So this is Mario with the Flood backpack riding Yoshi the Dinosaur. And this is a Joyride Studios figurine. And these are super rare. If I had this guy new in the box, it would be $1,000. Easy. I bought this years and years ago as a collector and gamer girl nerd. For around 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks, at like a EB Games or a GameStop, one of those stores. And for a little while, I, I did work for EB Games back in the day. 
Um, I was going through some of my old collections and decided to put this online and found out it's worth something. <laughs> so I sold this Super Mario out of the box. This would be considered a loose figurine for $450. And the coolest thing about that is it's going to Japan through the global shipping program. So there's going to be a collector in Japan that's going to be really, really happy with the Super Mario figurine. So really happy that that sold, and I'm happy that it's going to have a new home in Japan. <laughs> very, very cool. All right. Doc Martens. This sold for $81. Or not $81. $80. Why did I say $81? $80 with shipping included. If these shoes were brand new, they would be $150, but they are not. There's a little scuff there. They are in used condition, but they're still cute. I paid 10 for these and they sold online for $80 shipped. Woohoo! Purple suede shoes. That's pretty cool. All right, these books I did buy from a viewer. I did buy these from a fan. I gave him a chunk of money for a collection of monster books. Um, I think originally he was like, oh, just consider it a donation and uh, hook me up with some mummy monkey swag. Well, I can still hook him up with maybe a t-shirt or some swag later on. Um, but yeah, I did pay for these books and sold. Okay, so Frankenstein, I have to look up the prices again. I'm sorry. Because there's Frankenstein here. These are Crestwood monster books. There's Dracula. There's the Deadly Mantis. There's Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. I have one buyer that bought all four books. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just don't remember the prices, so I have to look those up real quick. Okay, so Dracula went for $30 with shipping and insurance included. Frankenstein went for $50 shipped with insurance included. The Deadly Mantis went for $72 with shipping included. And I'm going to combine the shipping on all of these and insure it with signature confirmation because of the price point on these. Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, I believe, went for around 50 as well. So that's really cool. I hope they enjoy their monster books. And I'm really um, happy that those sold and they're going to get a new home. But yeah, those monster, monster stuff, Halloween stuff, people love them. They're really fun. So I have to pack those up really good. Make sure that they are safe to go. All right, guys. Here's hoping that you're staying safe out there. Thank you for watching the video. Um, if you have collections of stuff, go through your old collections if you were ever interested in selling online and see what you're willing to part with because you never know when you can find a real gem. You know, I bought this in 2002 and almost 20 years later, it's worth $450. Who knew? And I think years from now, this will even increase in value. So it, it is cool. That was my big sale for the weekend. So goodbye, Mario. Mwah. And goodbye to you guys out there. Mwah. Hit like, hit that subscribe button. We do appreciate you. And we will be back with more videos and more horror hosted stuff as the mummy and the monkey. Bye-bye.